Hi guys, welcome back to Rampat Bath and Beauty's Kitchen. I have been looking for a fragrance for this song for so long. Um, I'm going to put my goggles on. Um, the song is called Work Bitch. Sorry for the swear word, but that's what the song is called by Britney Spears. This song means a lot to me. This is a motivational song, especially for women. And I am, by the way, making this soap and, you know, the whole Women's History Month thing. So it's in April. Um, it's April 5th to be exact. Anyway, um, this song has kept me going for a few years now. When I first heard it, I was immediately, I mean, the beat is fantastic. The bridge is beautiful to this song, but it's definitely about how hard you have to work if you want to make it. And I want to share that with y'all. <laughs> so this is my Isis recipe. My bentonite clay, uh, heavy cream, and yogurt are already in here. And in my lye water, it is a 50-50 mix of aloe vera juice, distilled water. It's got sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar in it. So what I'm going to do is mix this all up to a very light emulsification. And I will uh, bring you all back and we'll talk about the simple colors that we're using. So, okay, let me get this in there. By the way, I am soaping a little bit hotter than usual, and I didn't tell you what the fragrance is. The fragrance is Mango Pomegranate. It's a new fragrance for me um, as far as using it. However, uh, it's a it's a uh, fruity fruity thing, so I expect for it to slow down trace. So me soaping a little bit hotter doesn't really matter. Okay, let's get this done. Not to mention that the design I want to do with it's a little bit, uh, see I am soaping hotter. Um, not to mention the design that I want to do, I need it a little bit thicker. So this is going to be a totally new thing I've never done before. I can picture it in my head. Doesn't mean it's going to turn out that way. And I may be interrupted at some point because I think it's very close to my grandbaby's bedtime and he'll want to come down and give me hugs before he goes to bed so boy that is thicker than I anticipated especially since we're using <laughs> white and black the I this is inspired by the color palette is inspired by the music video it is primarily black and white primarily but in the bridge to this song. Hopefully I didn't put too much black and white in there or too much soap in there. Um, in the bridge she is wearing this gorgeous hot pink gown. So I am using my neon and there will be slight piping on the top. Just slight. I really am excited about this soap. This soap has been, like I said, something I've been looking for something. And the fragrance had to stand out to me personally because, you know, the song means a lot to me as far as, you know, when I'm feeling like I'm not getting enough accomplished or if I'm feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking overworked. I listen to the album that this is on, and I know it's so weird, you know, I'm a grown woman listening to Britney Spears, but that's just how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend everything, starting with my lightest to darkest. I made a big, huge mess, you know? oh my gosh. Well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I know that it's hard for you guys to see this pour when I do it is um, put the black on one side, the white on the other, and then we're going to do something really, I don't know, different. <laughs> really different. 
we'll see how it works. Oh crap! I forgot to do my uh, what I my washcloth. Let me get all of this up. Um, I gotta get my hanger tool ready as well. There we go. And I probably should have stirred the fragrance in, except for the fact that I want to make sure how much it's going to slow down Trace. Um, let me grab my hanger tool really quick. I'll bring it right back. I'm going to measure this because I'm going to need it once this stuff is thickened up enough. Okay, wow, that took longer than I anticipated. I may have to... Oh. They're not that far off in consistency. Okay. So a little bit in here. And I'm going to wait to put it in the pink. Because the pink is a fluorescent. Oh, it's still pretty fluid. And I need it to be just a little bit fluid. Yeah, see, that made it more fluid. I may have to wait until this thickens up some. And like I said, I mean, I anticipated this being... A fluid fragrance so I may have to clean Judy off which also means I'm gonna go ahead and put my the rest of my fragrance in my pink because I'll be using that um, for drop swirl and for piping so all right I'm gonna clean off Judy and I am going to come back when that is ready to pour. I think I uh, stick blended that black a little bit too much. Alright, let me bring the, the camera down just a little bit. Because I have to have it this way. And I know you're not going to be able to see the whole pour and I apologize. Um, so, my bad. <laughs> But like I said, I'm going to try to pour them as evenly as possible uh, down. Like I, like I do with pour some sugar on me. And I did that with one other soap. I can't remember which one it was. So I'm going to try to... Ooh! That just totally got screwed up. Well, that piece isn't going to turn out the way I wanted it. Wow. Well... All right, let me move this and get this black inside of there. I spilled it everywhere. Well, you know, and with what I'm doing with it, I'm not sure it's going to matter. You'll see. I promise. You'll see. I don't know. I, I dreamt this design. So... And like I said, I mean, I've done a similar design with other soaps, but it's certainly not this. <laughs> and it looks like my pink might all fit in there. I don't know. I guess we'll see, won't we? There might not be any piping at all. Try and get all... <sighs> all this black scraped out of here. Okay, let's get the white. Sorry, I'm not being very talkative, am I? Trying to concentrate. Okay. Now, my black everywhere. It's all over Judy. All right, I'm going to um, pound this. Okay, now this is what we're going to do with, I'm going to take my chopstick. Oh, sorry, i got to clean up this mold. I don't want that to stick. Okay, we're going <laughs> to, my chopstick is black soap all over. Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I am gonna take, oh, I can bring it closer to you guys. I'm gonna take my chopstick and I'm gonna stick it all the way down in there. Actually, that's the wrong side. My bad. I want the larger side of the chopstick. This, you know, it tapers. So I'm gonna do a figure eight 
through the bottom of my soap. So the chopstick is in, it's all the way down in the soap. And I'm going to come up. Now I'm going to take my pink and just like with pour some sugar on me. Perfect. And the other soap I do like this, I can't remember which one it is. And all I'm going to do with my hanger tool is like what would be done as a feather swirl. So I'm going to go down, pull over and up. Ooh, I'm making a mess. It did gray some right there, which is fine. You know, what am I going to do? Not much. It actually pinked out a little bit too. But I'm going to take my, I'm going to bang it again. Because um, with the way I'm piping, you're going to be able to see the top. I'm going to go ahead and do another infinity swirl, but on the top. Not going in very far. I'm definitely going to have to take my potato peeler to that one. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like this. Spray it with some alcohol. And then when it is, when my piping is ready, we will go ahead and uh, pipe on it. So let me put this over on the stove. And I'll put my piping in here and we'll be back. Bye bye. We are ready to pipe finally. And no, I'm not wearing gloves, but there's not much piping in here. And I have um, scooted it all down. Now, I, I kind of want to put glitter on it before I pipe, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is take the piping down the the black side and then I'm gonna see what I think from there so I want larger ones here squeeze my bag or twist my bag this piping is pretty firm I was busy watching my uh, daughter-in-law play Assassin's Creed. I've got her totally hooked. <laughs> and I could watch somebody play that all day. And like, literally have. Okay, and I'm going to put a little one here. And I think the rest of it I'm going to save. Um samples because I don't you know this is a new fragrance so I'm gonna put it well you know what I want this a little bit higher yeah I want these a little bit higher than the first one that I did Um, let me take a look at it from the side. I'm sorry. Let me see. Because in the brick, oh, I got that stuff all over the side of this mold. Um, in the bridge, she talks about hold your head high, um, reach for the sky. Um, maybe just a little bit higher. I know I'm sort of piling on, but oh, had an air bubble. Okay, maybe that'll make me happy. Let me turn this around again. Sorry, guys. I need to twist my bag. Maybe I'm not going to have stuff or samples because I need to fill some of these little holes. 
just so I don't have big pockets and lose my piping. Because we don't want to have another uh, first time making dark horse moment, do we? It's kind of funny, Renee said, you held yourself together so well. <laughs> my piping falling off, cutting it for you guys. Oh, that was a joy. Okay, the rest of it I'll put in a mold. I'm going to spray it with some alcohol. And I just want to put the glitter on the pink part. I don't want to put the glitter on the white. And I know that sounds kind of strange, but... Alright, there we have it. We got work. You know what? One of my all-time favorites by Miss Britney Spears. So I will see you guys in... 18 to 24 hours and yeah we'll cut it we'll see what uh interesting stuff we have inside bye bye i hope it's not too dark i'm kind of wondering whether or not that's too dark i usually have my overhead light on but we're back to cut to cut work bitch oh excuse me work you know that word yeah i think you guys will be okay now I'm really nervous about cutting this because, you know, the way I see it in my head is not a big pink blob in the middle. So, here we go. I probably should put my glasses on. Sorry, reaching over you to grab my glasses. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to like it. I think I might. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've got so much to do, you guys, to get ready for my first show. I'm excited about it. Please don't be a big, huge blob in the middle. Oh, well, actually, that looks... Oh, I like that. Okay, okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, I was, I'm pretty, it was pretty nervous to cut this to see how it turned out oh but I like it even though there is you know kind of that big blob of pink in the middle I think I oh I really like it yay I hope you guys can see okay oh yeah you can I mean the colors are bright enough right <laughs> when I took it out of the freezer yesterday my daughter-in-law was like whoa that is pink I think that these fluorescent or uh, neons fluorescents, well, <laughs> they kind of pretty much look fluorescent, but these neons are just gorgeous. Um, they come from Crafter's Choice. Oh, I really like it. I really like the way it turned out. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. It's way different than I imagined it, but way better that makes sense and I love that this wispiness of this black in the white and that the black is pretty much solid I like that I do a lot okay Oh, oh, look at that. I am so pleased. So, so pleased. Oop. Sorry, guys. Yay. So, hopefully, everybody's uh, week or weekend is gonna go good for y'all um, I might be posting some Tuesday videos I'm not sure uh, two four six eight yep I'm gonna have end pieces um, because I have like non soap well technically they're you know one of them soap but I have 
other stuff I have to make that um, I'm going to share with you guys because we have, you know, we have done more people that are new and I don't know if they have seen me make some of this stuff. I might not be able to get an end piece off of this. I really, I mean, it's huge. This is really big. So maybe I'll do it this way to see if I can get it off. There. Okay. That's better. I'm still going to have to run. It's got a little bit of a, uh, what's it called? It's like not perfectly straight. So I'm going to have to run that through my uh, what's it called? You know, to straighten it out. I can't, oh my goodness. Plane it. I'm going to have to plane it. So, but yeah, it turned out really well. I like it a lot. So thanks for sticking with me and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.